about this production. Uh, you know, not only is it the first time that uh, we are presenting Don Carlos in the original French, um, it's a you know a brand new production uh, which uh, has a superb cast, and the result is that today the Met is much more adventurous artistically than it was 15 or 16 years ago. But it has to be because for the art form, not just for the Met to survive, but for the art form to survive we have to be breaking new ground. And uh, you know, certainly there will always be some members of the audience uh, who will not be happy uh, with, with change, but you know, art is about change. The uh, result is that we've actually won new younger audience members, partly because of our more diverse programming uh, and, and new works that we're presenting. Um, and in the end, when the older audience comes back, uh, when the pandemic is officially over, we will have a, a bigger audience than we had before we started. I think really our function here is to, is to maintain the music and to sustain the traditions in the music, at least in my role, in my position, my feeling about it is that it's about tradition. And that has its place as does the new stuff as well. So with all these war horses, with all these famous, famous operas, I don't know that innovation is so critical Maybe I guess it's just, I mean, we rely on the Met management and board to sort of take the temperature in the room and see what people in the audience are thinking about the stuff and what they want to hear. I'm sure they're looking at all kinds of things, not just box office numbers, but other stuff and speaking with people about um, what they like to see. Um, but the artistic vision just seems to be growing and that's good. That can only be a good thing for a company, I think.